Hello everyone, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi and with me is Dr. Swishti Sharma who just got a beautiful rank of 320 in the INICT exam. Swishti, many congratulations, Vita. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, how does it feel? Sir, I can't put it into words. I think it has not sunk in yet. It will take a good week for it to settle in because I it has happened so many times in my head like people say manifested it. It will give you good energy to begin with. So it has happened so many times in my mind, but first time in reality. <laughs> so still not sunk in. So you have worked very hard for a long time. So it's good that you have achieved something which will take time to sing. So, so that's that's actually a good thing. So Swishti, I was just talking to you before we started the interview to understand your journey. And so you did your MBBS from BVP, Bharti Vidya Peet, which is a good college in Pune. But you told me that you you had this push to do something even bigger, even greater. So what exactly was it? Can can you tell your juniors who are uh, listening or watching this video? Um, I I was a good student mm. throughout school, so I had gotten a decent rank mm. uh, in UG, but obviously not enough to get me a government college. Mm. That is when my mother had told me to get a seat get into this journey and then we'll see how it pans out right. eventually but that was the push i think that has kept me throughout mm -hmm. five and a half years of mbbs and mm -hmm. two years post that mm -hmm. that i wanted to prove myself i think primarily to myself that mm -hmm. yes what image i have of myself in my head i am really that and i can be whatever i want to be and better mm -hmm. so that has what pushed me and kept me consistent throughout these two years. Wasn't supposed to be two years, was supposed to be only one year, but neat played out that way. And I think God had something better in mind for me. So, so Swishti, I should ask you this. Uh, there was a time a couple of years back when students from private colleges were not doing so good. But in the last mm -hmm. couple of years, I mean, we have been seeing great ranks being achieved by uh, students from you know different colleges, whether it's government, whether it's private whether it is FMG, whether it is Indian student. So, so uh, watching those success story, a uh, student uh, who went to a small college or a private college getting two digit rank or one digit rank, did it also give you that your confidence that, you know, even I can do it. It's not that good ranks are uh, a monopoly of a few colleges. It's not that. Did, did, did that, did those things? No, sir. No. Yes, okay. absolutely. No, no, absolutely. Okay. It just strengthens your belief in yeah. Uh, saying whatever you're believing, whatever I'm believing, it's it's not crazy. People right. have done it. And maybe if I'm doing the right things, it will eventually add up to what I want to achieve. Right. It just tells me in my ear that you are not People have done it, you'll do it. And, and I'm sure, uh, Swishti, your journey will inspire so many more. And I, I think that this is a beautiful thing. Uh, you know, there should be no stamps that I went to this college or that college. If somebody goes to Ames Delhi, does not mean that he would always do well. If somebody does not go to a good college, does not mean they would always have difficulties. And you know, students like you keep on, you know, proving this thing every every six months. So that's that's wonderful. All right. So Swishti, your journey was very interesting. So you were saying that there is no dearth of good content uh, nowadays. I mean, we have all the apps, we have all the books. It's a problem of you know too much information now. But uh, yeah. one thing that was lacking was structure. So you started your journey with BTR by Zainab Mem, of course, who is a great, amazing teacher. So how did BTR help you initially? So um, I think I lagged in my basics in mm -hmm. first and second year. Mm -hmm. uh, when we just enter medical college, I think everybody, nobody has an idea how to go through right. the journey. Right. Some people catch on early. Some people still are in the wave of... I will get through it. So I was doing pretty well in college as well. But I think the basics INI requires, that was lacking for me. So when ZMAM came up with the schedule, that was primarily where I wanted myself to stick to the schedule. And then we'll see how it goes. If I lack right. there, then there is no going anywhere. Right. So when that schedule came and uh, I was given just this much target, uh, anatomy just this much uh, biochem just this much I need to master it so I was given a content which was palatable mm. and then when I mastered that then there's no there's no stopping to whatever you want to add you can add mm. from mm. thousand different sources 
so that is what helped me and how people say baby steps that is what i mm. took mm. i mastered btr i gave ends very religiously and not just zenab mams but everywhere then i was questioning myself can i do this did i get this right i have this much knowledge can i apply it everywhere Mm-hmm. so and when i used to get questions wrong that is that paved the path to no more got it okay so so, so it started with btr lesser content but gave you some base i mean uh, or or strengthened the the important stuff and then then you started putting things on the top of that yes okay. from different ends because i didn't want to go for classes at first Okay. because that would just add on uh, information and i might not be able to digest it okay so i wanted to see how out of 100 questions if i'm getting 60 70 wrong that is where i stand and mm-hmm. now let's add on new concepts okay so i used to do ends and whatever concepts i lagged then i used to go back to mission classes and uh, all the main videos as well i've gone for pharma mm. and uh, path even because these subjects i and i and even need this time has been of equal level so they have really uh, asked questions and it wanted the base so that is where i have gone retrograde and it okay. worked well for me so you did the subject ends first like for pharma you did the grg sir cmd first and then yes. you watch this video is that what you are telling me yes okay so that's a nice approach a, a slightly different approach that you have taken okay so uh, this is very interesting so you started with btr and then you did subject wise end and then you did subject wise class okay so it is actually the retro approach that you are talking about that you took wonderful yes. wonderful what what about the other things like uh, late night pyq marathons did, did you use those yes religiously since ever since it has started and mm-hmm. um this time it was just 60 questions initially it was a few lesser questions there was experimenting but it has held me throughout it took care of my pyqs i was not worried i, I did not have to go to any app or anything else that yahan se ye reh gaya yaar there used to be a thing at the back of the head you have done this but still you have to do pyqs that was getting covered and that was a big heavy weight lifted off my shoulder and um, even if i did was not able to do it at night i used to do it first thing in the morning mm. so anyways it was karna hai that's it there is no mm-hmm. if and but about it late night sometimes turn into early morning pyq marathons but <laughs> marathons they were yes so uh, were you were you expecting uh, this rank which i mean when when you came out of the examination hall were you were you expecting that i would be getting some 300 rank no i was confident that i had given a good exam just like ma'am says and you say take it to the last moment and even while giving the exam don't question every step you're taking just go through it go through the process i think i was confident that i have given a good exam and i was calm throughout in my previous exams uh, the last 10 days leading up to the exam weren't the great like okay. the greatest of them all this time i think i mastered that and it was a challenge for me and i had taken it upon myself that swishti last 10 days are make or break it it's not about what you're gathering as information it's mm-hmm. about preparing your mind right for the exam and that calm this mm-hmm. time i had that calm which i carried into the exam hall and mm-hmm. throughout 3 hours and even during like i i remember the third set was a bit tricky for me like uh, there were back to back anatomy questions which I, i had to really think about and uh, th- at that moment i could remember you don't have to question it just keep going through it's just like a rough patch you'll get through so that calm which i had in last 10 days it helped me throughout rank i was not expecting wonderful so swishti uh, what would you advise somebody who is in the same shoes as you were 2 years back just starting with the preparation not so confident uh, you know doubting the information that one has what one carries and you know having a big target in front of uh, self in, in front of the uh, yourself so what what is your advice how should that person approach the upcoming exams i think um only self confidence will sail you through that has to be 
the top most i'll keep at the top of the list mm-hmm. education and ends and everything is later comes later mm-hmm. you have to believe in yourself and this has my belief in myself has increased mm-hmm. over two years and that is what will lead you forward you can't listen to anybody who says you can't do it or it's tough or wherever you come from it doesn't determine anything i don't totally where you're going it's your your own journey mm. and what you believe in yourself matters wonderful no matter that, how crazy it is that's a beautiful thought swishti so what are you planning to take now general surgery okay you want to become a surgeon wonderful what your your demeanor is also that of a surgeon so i i can <laughs> I can totally imagine you as a successful surgeon. Wonderful. <laughs> so that was it. Was so nice talking to you, Swishti. So uh, I, I think I think uh, the messages that you gave were very pertinent. Take baby steps. You know, make yourself confident before you leap forward to the next bigger challenge. And then one thing at a time. And I, I think I think you took that approach right till the examination hall. Even when you had a bad patch, even when you were having difficult questions, you know, t- taking it one question at a time helped you sail through the exam. Wonderful, Christy. Many congratulations and best wishes for your future, beta. Thank you, thank you, sir.